athletes. Thank you. For Cypress Hills Grasslands. Well, Madam Speaker, after eight years of this Prime Minister, Canadians are paying the price for his destructive policies. The farmers who produce our food are continuing to struggle. A farmer from my riding recently showed me his latest gas bill for grain drying. The carbon tax and the GST that was applied on top of it amounted to over $1,100. But with a higher cost for producers in the field and consumers at the grocery store, the Liberals don't care. They're going to go ahead and triple that carbon tax anyway. When will they stop punishing Canadian families and the farmers who feed them? Here, here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I can tell you that we do care for farmers. I work very closely with farmers across the country, and we are the government that has invested the most in the history for the agriculture and agri-food sector. We just signed the uh, Canadian Agricultural, the Sustainable Canadian Agricultural Partnership. We have increased by 25 percent the, the cost-shared contribution to support our farmers. When the Conservatives were there, they were cutting in science, they were cutting in business risk management, they were cutting on everything for farmers. The Honourable Member for Regina, Wiscana. Madam Speaker, on December 3rd, CTV ran a story with the following headline. Transport Minister Confident in a Smooth Holiday Air Travel Season. But as we all know, the chaos that Canadians experienced at airports last summer was repeated in December and January, with Canadians stranded at airports for days on end. Madam Speaker, after eight years, what exactly is this Liberal government doing to prevent air travel chaos? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Transport. Madam Speaker, our government understands how the delays and cancellations this holiday season were extremely frustrating for travellers. We expect all airlines to communicate with passengers and keep them informed of delays or cancellations. Uh, we are always looking at ways to strengthen rights for passengers and we will continue to ensure these rights are protected and the Canadian Transportation Agency has the resources it needs to enforce these rights. And as the minister who uh, was before us at the Transport Committee committed, we are looking to strengthen the passenger air rights. We will continue to make sure that the Canadians have a smooth... Wiscana. Madam Speaker, in a vast country such as ours, efficient air travel to all regions is essential. But after eight years of this Liberal government, mid-sized airports like Regina are bearing the brunt of airline cutbacks and lack of competition, leaving people in those regions feeling like second-class citizens. Will this government help Canadians who use mid-sized airports, or will this government continue to leave them stranded? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, our government will continue to strengthen everything that the Canadians require to have a smooth experience in travel. Uh, we continue to dialogue with our airports. We, uh, the minister's office and the minister himself continues to meet with them and have that conversation. And we will always be there to listen to the concerns and to the needs. And we will deliver for all uh, Canadians across the country. Member for Whitby. 